Well, thank you very much. And today, I welcome the great nurses of our country to the White House and express our gratitude for those on the front lines in our war against the global pandemic. And it's been something, but uh, we're winning and we will win. It's a question of when, and I think it's going to go quickly. We hope it's going to go quickly. I think we all agree. We're glad to be joined by Vice President Mike Pence, Secretary Alex Azar, Administrator Seema Verma, Dr. Robert Redfield, and Dr. Deborah Burks. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank you very much. We're using the full power of government in response to the Chinese virus. I declared a state of national emergency that will make up to $50 billion in disaster relief funds available, which we can use to assist hospitals, which, as you know, we need. I asked states to set up emergency operation centers and hospitals to activate emergency plans, and they've been uh, fully notified. We're urging hospitals to cancel all elective medical procedures. My emergency declaration allowed us to waive regulations to give nurses and doctors maximum flexibility to respond to the virus and to protect our frontline professionals that we've authorized through telehealth nationwide, which is really becoming uh, big stuff, telehealth. Makes it a lot easier for patients and uh, really has been working out amazingly well. We empowered states to authorize test develop in their state, and we are working with the private sector to rapidly expand testing capacity. And we're asking every American to make major changes to reduce social interactions over the next two weeks. As we all know, we must make uh, shared sacrifices, and that's what we're doing as a country. Uh, it's been amazing to see the way the country has come together. There's tremendous spirit, and even Republicans and Democrats are getting together, for the most part, but they're getting together. So that's a good thing to see. But they're going to be uh, donating unused masks, and the Defense Department is making millions of masks available for healthcare workers. Uh, FEMA is fully engaged. Uh, they're uh, — we're uh, working with them very closely. They're going around. They're seeing many of the states. They're engaged all over the country, but some areas have uh, far greater problems than others. Some areas don't have very much of a problem at all, as you know. But FEMA is very much engaged. They're fully engaged as of about two hours ago. And tomorrow, we're having a uh, — what I think will be a very interesting news conference. Uh, and uh, I think you know what that's all about. So we'll see. The FDA will be uh, — they've been working very, very hard. And I appreciate what they're doing. And I think we have some uh, very interesting things that will be brought up tomorrow at the news conference. It'll be set up, I think, at around 11 o'clock or so. But we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.